What is up designers, this is Nikos from Ninja Graphics and welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Uh, before we begin, I would like to say that uh, this was a requested video, so if you have any video lessons that you want me to make a tutorial about, feel free to comment them in the comment sections below. So uh, let's get straight into it. Uh, so as the title states, obviously this video will teach you how to create color palettes for your um, Photoshop files or for whatever other reasons that you might have. Uh, so um, this video is going to be cut in two sections. So the first one is going to be pretty basic so that you don't uh, spend too much brain power on figuring out how to do this. And the second one is a little bit more uh, professional way of going about it and actually choosing the colors in the, in the right way. Uh, so uh, not that the first is the wrong way, but uh, you know what I mean. So uh, let's go with the with the with the first version. So I'm just gonna create a new file in Photoshop, and uh, you know that when you create a new file, you get one layer. So uh, as we begin, you will have one layer as uh, as your background, and now uh, we want to create a new layer to put our color palette on it. So our colors that we will be choosing will go on a separate layer. So that is very important so that it doesn't mess up uh, our document. So what we do now is obviously create a new layer. And uh, one way to do it is if you go down here, there's a little icon that looks like a folded paper right next to the bin, trash bin. And then if you click that, it creates a new layer on top of the layer that you were you had selected. Or uh, if you're like me and you want to get things done super quick, uh, I usually use uh, keyboard shortcuts. And for creating a new layer, keyboard shortcut is Control or Command Shift N. That's going to bring up the new layer panel, and you can actually name your uh, layer straight away. So I'm just going to name it Color Palette. So here we, we have our color palette layer and make sure that this layer is selected before you go on doing any uh, further steps in this video. So the next step you wanna do is obviously select your colors and the way we do that is if you press here, uh, that is your color picker. So I'm just gonna select a random color, like let's say blue. So next you wanna go here and select your uh, one of these tools. So uh, if you want square uh, colors, then you select the rectangular one, and for circular one, you select elliptical marquee tool. So let's start with a rectangular one, and uh, just click and drag with while holding down the shift key to make it uh, uh, like perfectly square. And uh, then I'm just gonna let go. And then what you wanna do in order to fill up the color is press Alt and Backspace. So that's gonna fill up the color that you select it with. And uh, that's, the, that's the way to go. So uh, next, you, while pressing, while, while having the same tool selected, you can actually move this selection over to your right and then uh, select a different color to fill it up. So let's select something else like this bright red color, and then repeat the same command, Alt Backspace, and that's gonna fill up your selection with the new color since you selected a new color. So uh, this is pretty much the process that goes into creating the color palette. And now you can go about this creating as much colors as you want, and uh, it's pretty simple. So uh, just gonna add one more color, like a dark blue, uh, so next we can check out how to make different kind of uh, uh, shapes. So if you, if you're not if you think that the square color palette isn't cool uh, because I personally prefer the circular ones, you can then select this tool right here that is elliptical marquee tool. And instead of using the uh, square ones, use the elliptical one to make a circular selection. And don't forget to uh, keep the shift key pressed because that's going to create a perfect uh, round uh, shape for you. And next, uh, you can select your colors one more time and uh, use this pretty much exactly the same method. Uh, 
I'm currently using the eyedropper tool to select the colors that I already chosen. Chosen, excuse me, excuse my English. Um, and then just do the same thing, right? So it's pretty simple and that's the process that you can create. And now we have your color palette. You can maybe shrink it down so that it doesn't take up too much space on your workspace. And uh, yeah, continue working on your projects and all that. So this was the, f uh, the first version that is like really easy way to go about it. The second one would be to actually go and use the websites for this. So uh, the first and obvious website would be the Adobe Color uh, website. So Adobe has a specific website for choosing a color uh, wheel. So now uh, I'll put the link in the description. Um, so once you once you click the link, uh, if you go to explore, then you get all of these different kind of uh, color palettes that you can choose from. It's basically endless and people make these when they work on the projects and uh, you can actually contribute as well. So I'm just going to randomly choose one of them uh, for the video's sake and I'm just going to choose this one. Once you choose it, you should click edit copy and it will take you to this page where you can scroll down and see details of each individual color. And next you want to copy the hex code of each color. So here we have five colors. And then once you see the first color, uh, just copy the hex code here and then paste it in your color picker right here. So once you do that, your color will change and match the exact color that you saw on the website. So next, um, I'm actually going to hide this layer for the first palette and I'm going to create a new layer with color palette two. So uh, we're going to do the same, repeat the same exact process, but it's going to be this time, it's going to be the colors from the website that I, that I copy. So uh, next, just choose the second one. Uh, make sure you put that in. Alt backspace. The third one. Change the color. Alt backspace. Uh, once more. Uh, change the color. Alt backspace. And the last one. Hex. Change the color and alt and backspace. So here we have the color palette too. And now uh, obviously this is more professional because it was probably done by a professional. If you wanna have uh, several different uh, cool color palettes, what you can do is you can copy this layer, right? And then you can press control or command U on your keyboard and change the hue values. So if you do that, you can see that the hue values will change and you will get a completely new uh, color palette, but it's going to be uh, in the same structure, in the same tones as well as in the same uh, uh, differences between the, the darkness and the brightness. So uh, it's also a cool way to do it and you can do this as much as you want uh, and there's pretty much endless possibilities of what you can do in this case. So here's that and uh, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new and I'll see you guys in the next one.